Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about pie. Who doesn't love pie? It's not hard to make, but it does take a while. So today I have my friend Margot True. She's a multiple James Beard Award winner and food editor at Sunset Magazine who's gonna show us her secret way to make a really good pie dough. Hi Margot. Hi Zori. <laughs> It's great to be here and I have to tell you that pie really isn't hard at all. And the great thing about this pie dough is that it replaces shortening, which we all know now is not good for us, uh -huh. trans fats and all, with a secret ingredient Ooh. that still makes it flaky, gives it a subtle flavor. Mm -hmm and is really easy to use and it's good for you. Awesome, good for you and a secret ingredient. I can't wait. Let's get started, guys. To make the dough, you're gonna need two and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of virgin coconut oil, two sticks of cold unsalted butter, about half a cup of ice water, and a little bit of sanding sugar. All right, Margo, so what should we do? Well, we're going to start by taking the flour, adding some sugar, a little bit of salt, whisking it together, then crumbling the coconut oil, it's a solid, over the flour mixture. Now, the cubes of butter scattered evenly over the flour mixture. And now, I'm rubbing it into the flour mixture with my thumb and forefingers, like the universal sign for money. <laughs> That's how you remember. Just keep doing it until you get what looks like crushed crackers with some pea-sized lumps. And the reason I like doing it by hand is because I can feel how flaky the butter is getting and I won't be overworking it. You want to leave lumps of butter in there and little bits of coconut oil so that the, you'll get a really flaky dough because those things are going to melt first and leave behind these hollows in the dough which creates this shattering, crisp, flaky, texture when you eat your pie. Then you drizzle in about six tablespoons of ice water and mix it together with a fork. You may need to add a little bit more ice water. The point is to get those balls to come together into sort of bigger clumps. Then when that's happened, gather it together into a ball, gather up all the loose bits, then you divide the dough into two, you form each one into a disc, flatten it out a little bit, but being very tender with it. You don't want to overwork the dough. And then you wrap each of those discs in wax paper and chill it for 30 minutes, at least. And that's all there is to making dough. But Margo's gonna show us a secret way to roll out dough. Actually, not so secret anymore. Two ways. Awesome. So, all right, what should we do to roll out the dough? Okay, the first thing that is, well, the first thing you need to know about rolling out pie dough is that this is the part that freaks out most beginners. Because you roll out your dough, it's all uneven, it's this weird shape like Texas, it's not <laughs> a circle, and then you can't get it off the counter, it's all stuck on there. Yeah, that's my biggest yeah, problem, it's is getting terrible. it off. How do you get it off? Yeah. And then if you do get it off, then as you're lifting it over to your pie plate, it all falls apart. So there are many, many, areas where it could just be a disaster. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there are two ways to avoid all of these problems. And the first one is use a pie bag. A pie bag? A pie bag. I had fear of crust until I used a pie bag, and it really helped me figure out how to roll it and have no mess, no falling apart, no nothing. Okay. So what you do is you flour it lightly on both sides. Not too much flour, because a lot of flour will make your dough tough. Just a little flour. You put your dough, your disc of dough that's now nice and chilled, you put it in the center of the pie bag. This is basically two pieces of plastic with a zipper around the edge. Fold over the top of the pie bag, zip it up. Now take your rolling pin and start rolling out from the center because that helps you get the most even crust. But you know, even if you're not rolling that evenly, it's okay because the pie bag is going to contain okay. the dough and you'll get a perfect circle. No matter what you do, you're going to get a perfect circle. So you roll it all out, and there it is all smushed out and rolled out inside your pie bag. Unwrap the top, mm -hmm. peel it back. Then, instead of bringing dough over to the pie plate, you just put the pie plate over your rolled out dough, invert them, and then peel off the second part of the pie bag, and your dough is right there exactly where it has to be. Then you just ease it in there, and there's your bottom crust. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. 
Okay, Margo, that was so easy. I love that pie bag. So that's our first method. What's your second method? So the second method is really almost as easy. You take two pieces of wax paper, put a little flour on the bottom one, put the dough on top, second piece of wax paper on top of the dough, then you put your pie plate on top and draw a circle about an inch wider than the pie plate, take that off, and roll out your dough till it meets the edge of the circle. Peel it off and there you go. That's also super easy. I never knew, I always just do it flat onto the counter with some flour and like you said, I have that issue about transferring it. So oh, the transfer, it's, it's, it's really tricky. <laughs> Perfect, so now we have our dough. So what do we do next? Well now, all we have to do is chill it for at least 30 minutes, up to two days if you're busy. And then you just fill it with whatever filling you like and bake it. Easy. Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Margo, for coming on and showing us your way of making pie. What's your favorite pie? Comment below. And if you want to get more pie recipes, visit sunset.com. Or check out our Sunset Cookbook, which has tons of tips on pie making, plus about a thousand other recipes. Awesome. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.